As worries about lead in the water spread across Metro Detroit, the race is on to remove hundreds of miles of dangerous and potentially poisonous pipeline. And there's still one very big question, and that's who's going to pay for all of it. Grant Herms dug into the numbers for us and has a look at just how much lead we think is still underground. Grant? Well, we know that no amount of lead is good, but still there are hundreds of thousands of lead service lines across the state of Michigan. Now, to help tell this story, we talked to a Detroit grandmother turned activist and her nine year old grandson who's already dealing with the effects of lead. When we leave here, he instantly will go and wash his hands. He will instantly go and change those clothes. Tanisha Henry has been living with lead her whole life. So has her nine-year-old grandson, Lloyd. His hair stopped growing. Tested when he was just three years old, the levels of lead in Lloyd's blood were staggering. An acceptable lead level is six and under. He was a 28. And the effects will be with him for the rest of his life. He has some, some learning issues. He has some issues comprehending and you know, he learns a little slower. And Lloyd isn't alone. According to the state health department data, on average, over the last 10 years, 1,984 children in Detroit under the age of six were diagnosed with elevated blood levels each year. Statewide, things don't get better. A new study out this year from the Journal of Pediatrics shows three out of four Michigan kids had detectable levels of lead in their blood. Under CDC guidelines, no amount of lead is safe. Just up the road from the park where Lloyd is playing is Hamtramck, where another crisis of leaded water is unfolding. According to the state, the small city has 589 known lead lines, with another 4,600 that are likely lead. What makes anyone think that the same water that Hamtramck is getting, we're not getting? According to the state, Michigan has more than 331,000 lines that are known to be or likely to be lead pipes and another 314,000 lines we don't know enough about. In Detroit, there are nearly 80,000 known or likely lead lines with another 29,000 the state isn't sure about yet. That right there is something that I am so worried about. Number one, we don't drink the water. In 2018, Governor Gretchen Whitmer launched the My Clean Water Plan, which set aside $207 million for clean drinking water. But that amount comes nowhere near what experts say is needed to remove and replace lead lines. That same year, the Michigan Department of Environmental Quality said the cost would be nearly $500 million. But the Michigan Municipal League, which advocates for towns and cities, found the true cost was somewhere in the neighborhood of $2.5 billion. And since then, costs have risen. There's no question that that cost has gone up. 2021 marks the first year of a 20 year race to remove lead pipes, a quick and expensive pace for many cities and towns trying to show Michigan is a safe place to live while actually making it one. Perception sometimes becomes reality and we need to be very careful of that here. So both not only do we need to ensure that we are addressing the public health concerns, but we need to show that Michigan from the standpoint of both water quality, from housing, from economic development, is a competitive and attractive place to be. Cold comfort for those hoping to solve this problem for future generations. We have to pass the world on to these children. We have to straighten out this mess that was, that was left to us so we don't leave it for them. Now, the governor did set aside that $207 million as a part of the My Clean Water Plan, and then this week asked for another $100 million to help out with that plan. And in Lansing, Republicans have their own lead line removal plan that comes to about $600 million. But both of those plans, Devin, are a far cry from what experts think we actually need. And, well, Grant, there, there was word originally about the new infrastructure law that there was money in there for lead lines. There was a lot of money in there over the summer, $45 billion. And then that, as that negotiation was being whittled down, it got to about $15 billion nationwide, which is barely going to scratch the surface for a lot of the states, including Michigan. Yeah. But there is a bright spot here. There appears to be appetite to get this done. We just need to make a deal now. That's all. Let's hope Back so. To you. Yeah. All right, Grant.